Let me rock that body, girl. That hollow body. That probably is, you know, you could probably tie that into something that's happening. I presume Mika wants to rock Sasha's body. I mean, that has not actually been stated out loud. But we might make that assumption. We're going to continue. Uh, so let's see. This was the last one. I uh, know the autosave is the last one. Right, we got out of the building. Finally outside. Where are we going? We're just gonna walk around. Enjoy the nice breeze. Here we are. Let's see, gotta remember the controls. Wow. Could she, could she always do that with the guitar? She has like this sp a super kick, what? You know, I know this game has been patched since I last played it. I feel like she did not have these moves previously. Maybe they're new. Okay, that's running. Yeah. Here's the flashlight. All right. Just nice to be outside. Hey, look, there's a guy down there. But we don't really need to worry about that because it's so it's such a, so big. This road we're on. We're not in these those tight hallways anymore. Oh. Is that a snake or an eel? I don't know. It's not doing anything right now. Let's see. Um, stomp. That's okay. No, there, I just bumped into it. There we go. Hello. So he contacted Tax on the radio. And he told us to go somewhere. Though it has been a bit since we last played the game. I mean, wherever we're going, we know the last place we saw Sasha was on the beach. Where she was looking for Mike and she found the big hole. Don't know if she's still there. That seems like a dead end. Is there something there? Everything's classified about this guy, except his ammo. Can we go across this? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we can go through this hole in the fence. Can we go in one of the houses? Oh, is there a document over there? Shift schedule, let's see. Slight shift, slight change up for the next week's shifts. We got the new guy in from Monday, making up for losing Stu. Team three, you're on the night again until Stu two gets his bearings. Wick Street checkpoint. This week's crew, crew 2206, morning shift team one, Alex Bailey Casey, afternoon shift team two, Drew Aaron Flynn, night shift team three, Gail Hayden Amani, hey team, Monday to Sundays, team one, team two, team three. Just run the shifts, keep your heads down, any serious trouble, let me know, I'll get some boys down, don't give them the time of day, hold the line of restraint if necessary. Barrel fuckers. Steve. I feel like they did not hold the line. The line was not... I don't... F Maybe there was a line at some time being held. Oh, that's the apartment right there. Turned around. That's fine, because we find that document. At, s at one point, there may have been a line being held. I feel like that time has passed. Um, and whatever line there may have been, it's just, it's just not here anymore. It's, it's gone completely. <laughs> nice doggy. Thing 
here. Doesn't see doesn't seem like I'm interacting with anything. Usually when the camera changes like that, there's something to pick up, but I'm not seeing it here. I don't suppose this door is a thing. Does not appear to be. What do we have here? Arrows and a leather quiver. They're missing a bow. We will take them. Ow. Well, no target practice for us. fun. One of those little wigglies has got on him. They're wiggling. Is that a, is that a, th a video game box? Um, it might not be. I forget if that's... if that is. Yeah. It doesn't look like I'm breaking it by bumping into it. Oh, hold on. There's a phone call. I gotta pick this up. Sorry, everyone. I gotta take this. Yeah? The catcher did it with it. Disgusting weather. Well, I, you know, her name is Holloway. I did not expect this to be a sequel uh, far in the future of Silent Hill Homecoming, because clearly 
uh, a descendant of Judge Holloway, some a child that, uh, well, I mean, Judge Holloway's daughter survived and was adopted by Alex, as we know from our playthrough of the game. Uh, clearly, Mike Mika is a descendant of Judge Holloway and uh, clearly has brought the curse with her to England. And that's what I believe is the plot of this game. Anyway, we have a friendly phone call, a uh, caller who calls us every once in a while to give us helpful tips. She says that uh, we failed that guy. However, I have... My, my philosophy in life tends to be a bit more selfish, is that I am not a doctor. Uh, you cannot put that responsibility on me. I refuse to accept it. And I feel fine about that. My hands are clean. My hands were holding a radio. A radio of hope. He couldn't see that. He just couldn't see that the radio represented hope. Contamination poster has been added to documents. Let's see. Official notice. Contaminated area. Entry prohibited. This zone poses a potential hazard. Access restricted to authorized personnel only. Do not enter or make contact. I feel like a lot of contact has been made over time in this place. Too much contact. I don't know if those little wigglies are enemies. It doesn't seem like they've tried to attack me. Oh, invisible wall. my, like, thing not showing me the information about this dead body. All right, then. All right, uh, this map is not really telling me anything. This is a skate park. You know what this skate park needs? Needs some power washers. They take care of all this dirt. This whole town really needs that. Oh, okay. That's a bow. This is a teacher who had this bow. Wooden bow is grasped in the body's hand. It's missing arrows. I will take the bow. I guess uh, that maybe that house with the with the arrows. Maybe that was his house. No? That's nothing? All right. You know, a lot of horror games will go with monsters that make squealing and roaring sounds. I can't believe that not that there's only one game that truly knew that the most terrifying thing was to come across an enemy unawares who greeted you with hey you or hi guy only alone in the dark too new frightening morning sir oh, hold on the kotak's going It 
Is that the last of it? For today, sure. Jesus, this is so messed up. You're in a little deep and suddenly grow a conscience, don't you think? I didn't sign up for this shit. I wanted to help. Uh, you sign up hoping to do some good, and bam, you're digging mass graves. Happens to all of us once in, you know, it's understandable. How did I get to a point where I'm digging mass graves? I never thought I would be doing that. Oh, that's where I came from, I think. Okay, let's walk through the mass grave. Oh, God. Hollow bodies, even. Oh, God, the smell. Just comments on the smell. Can I get in there? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, who's this friend on this gate? It's Mia Camilla, an accountant. Died from acute mount. Really? That looks like some. Yeah, that that's the cause of death right there. That's some acute malnutrition. You gotta keep your. You gotta. You gotta. It's important to know what your body needs, the vitamins and nutrients. Otherwise, this could happen to you. A disfigured body hangs from the gate. The body is woven with chains. A heart-shaped padlock rests in the chest of this poor woman. That's kind of badass. An old wallet has been left on the ground. I will take the wallet. Worn leather wallet. Well, I mean, we can probably, probably look at it. Maybe it belongs to, to Mia over here. All right, gotta find the heart-shaped key. An old worn leather wallet. There's a Digilock house key tucked inside. Digilock house key added to it. Do I know which house it is? There's an ID card in the wallet. The address seems to be nearby. All right. House number 21. 21. I don't think the map says... Uh, yeah, the map does not, like, give house numbers. Are we gonna have to, I guess we're just going to have to look at the houses. Find number 21. Another tent up there. Don't suppose there's anything in it. No. All right, we gotta go find some houses, I guess. Not gonna find them in the park, that's for sure. You know what you would find in the park? People playing catch. Discussing their problems. Trying to figure out the solutions to... The things that give them grief and anxiety. My, Mika could go for a game of catch right now, but who, should, who would she play catch with? Monsters? No. Probably not. Gotta find Sasha. So she'll have someone to play catch with. Alright, houses. Struggling to cope? Can I look at that sign again? It's hard to, it's hard to get a look at it. There we go. Self-help hotline. 
I kind of like how the, the circle in the P is the sun. It kind of looks like self-hell hotline. You think about that? Huh? Huh? Anyway, what's the number on this? 62. Okay, 62. That's a good deal away from 21. I think the number... Oh. Yep, got damaged. I think the number was 21. Yeah, I'm in danger. We can look at this again. There's an item house. 21. There we go. And also... Ah. How far are we down now? 44. Twenty six. All right, getting there. We open these gates. That doesn't look like it. And this is 21. All right, let's get in here. It is dry and full of flies and mice. Probably dead bodies. But dry. Pick up. I was about to say, I guess I'm going to die in seven days, but you know, maybe we're just going to die. Oh, look at this thing. Look, that's fun. I got revolver ammo. Let's That's a danger. There we go. Alright, so what was he doing in this bathroom? Hiding off camera. If you hide off camera like this, no one can see you. It's true. Doesn't seem to be anything in the bathroom. You make is not even commenting on how disgusting the bathtub is. No, it's still wiggling. Still got a wiggle. Dusty camcorder sits wired into an old television. Sure, I'll take it. Why not? What are we gonna do with that? Old consumer camcorder, tripod plate attached to the bottom. Let's keep that in mind. We can mount it on a tripod. I don't have time to watch all these tapes. So, uh, how we doing? Do I need to worry about you? You see, I should probably just stay right there. Go attacks going. Are you sure this will work? 
This half a bottle each is enough. Are they trying out Oreo Coke? That seems a little dramatic. Yeah, what a, what a timeless reference that will be. The flowers do ma little to mask the awful smell of weirdly flavored Coke. Okay, so we just walked into that room for that, I suppose. Hmm? Is that blood? I hope it's not Sasha's blood. Is that a bird? I too say this to birds that crash through my window. Huh? Are we picking up the entire tripod? The tripod is set pointing out the window. No, 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 we're gonna use the camera. Peepin? Can I see what it is? It's pointing right at that house. Can I get the number? I guess not. I guess it's just going to be whatever is across the street. What you looking out there? Uh, maybe nothing. Oh, it's, it's gone. The big friendly face. See? It meant no harm. Oh, what, did I look at something? I thought there was like a flash of a UI. Yeah, there it is. All right, we just exited. All right, but uh, I guess it was pointing at this. That smell. Something's burning. Light it up, I guess. Revolver ammo. Newspaper article, let's see. AI nano cell. I was reading, you know, I read, I was thinking that was one word. I nano cell. I not, I knock I knock It is not. It is AI nano cells. Anti aging or fast track fatality? 
A third fatality at the hands of Sub-Zero prompts backlash with the wider medical community as tests continue for Echo's diverse new AI-powered nanocell initiative. Promising to stunt the effects of aging by as high as 90%, this alluring new technology is yet to see a commercial release, but is stated to enter full production in just 12 months from now. Many fear Echo's ambitions may be detrimental to the wider medical industry as the company grows to a staggering 80 percent market dominance, rising calls for concerns surrounding the supply of raw materials used in common medicines. Echo Garden have declined to comment on the third tragic fatality, once again echoing, excuse the pun, their previous messaging that all parties involved in ongoing medical trials are fully aware of the risks and compensated appropriately, which, which begs the question, what good is a lump of cash when you're six feet underground? Is that picture on the newspaper, is that a nano cell? I guess it must be. What else would it be? Anyway, nanotechnology, it's going to stop you from aging and nothing else. Only good things. It might also build a nightmare bureaucracy because that's the thing you're afraid of. It could do that as well. It probably won't. Something has been wired directly into the socket. No way I'm touching it. Oh, God. I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, look at this. A bathtub. I can't believe people use these things. There's live current running through the bath water. There's something lying at the bottom of the tub just below the water's surface. Is it that key? Gotta find to take the plug out if I want to drain the water. All right, so we gotta shut off the electricity. Gotta touch the wires, maybe find some rubber gloves or a stick perhaps to poke it with. Ooh, we're in the photo room. What did he die from? His body's an old metal road sign protruding from its chest. Um, oh, it's a makeshift axe. Yeah, okay. It's the makeshift axe. Let's uh, take a look. Well, yeah, rudimentary axe. I mean, it wasn't. It was like a spear, but I guess... Uh, Mika feels like it would be much more useful as, as an axe. There we go. Well, we don't want to poke at the metal, at the electricity with a hanger, probably. But I'll take it. Metal coat hanger with a hook on one end. You know, if I could find, like, a string, maybe we could use that hook to hook a key, perhaps, of some kind. I mean, I, there's a string on the bow. I assume we use the bow as a weapon. Yeah, like that. Nothing left inside. I wonder why the camera was pointed at this, uh, at this house. I didn't get an impression as to why that was the case. That's good, because I, I do need that. I've used my healing items. Child's drawing. Let's see. Waving man. The man in the widow says hello. The man in the widow's watching. Is 
that a yo-yo? Yo-yo has a string. I don't know if you know this. Nothing else worth taking. Made a wooden string. What if I combine this with a hanger? It absolutely combines into makeshift hook. I have a ma- it's, it's time to go fishling. It sure is. Alright, I don't know if there's anything else left in this house, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know if this would work on the electricity. I mean, the ma the hanger is metal, but the string is not. Like, there's something else I could think we could use this for, but uh, maybe we should check this out. No, we cannot use it here. Or we could use it to maybe get the stopper out. Yeah, we can use it for that. It's the heart key. Heart-shaped key. For a heart-shaped lock. But there's... Do we, oh, wait, do we still have it? Hold on. Yeah, we still have it. All right, you know what that means. It means it's time, it's time to go back to the apartments. Ah. It's gonna watch some TV. Assuming we can find our way back to the apartments. It's kind of a large area. So let's see. When I was going to 21, which is this one, I approached from that direction. So... Pardon? Let's keep going this way. Okay, that's a dead end. This is blocked off. Yeah, I already I did check that body. Oh yeah, there's the apartments. So, I went to the upper floor and looked down at the lower one. So, let's head back this way. We want to get back to the main area. Right, we use the, the fire alarm to open something. Okay, now this is still closed. Too heavy to lift. There's a fuse, but one of them is fried. Hmm, do we need to find something to replace a fuse? It's not bringing up the inventory screen, which what I assume mean, I would assume that means we don't actually have what we need. I think we do need to open that door to go back to where we... Yeah, because this is blocked off. Okay. So I guess we can't go back yet. I don't think there was another... Because we came from that... We came through that door. And then it closed when we turned on the, the sprinklers. I don't think there was a way back to the other side of the apartment's... Aside from going through that door. So 
So maybe we'll find something that could be used as a makeshift fuse. Gross fleshy mass. We love to see it. We have. We love to see a gross mass. Can't go there. Can't go there. There's the elevator. Does this? I don't think this goes anywhere else. Right, I guess it'll take us back to the roof. But I don't think there was anything else there. All right, that goes to the roof. And the camera doesn't follow us there. Yep, and here's where our friend took a jump. And I had I did look around here the last time. I don't think there was anything here. Alright. So I guess we probably have the thing we need, except we need a fuse to get to the room we need to go to. There must be something really good in that room. And just to refresh our memories, there's one room in the apartments that our master key doesn't work on. He uses an old-fashioned key. We saw where the key was, because there was an apartment with a hole in the floor, and we looked down through the, through the floor, and in the room below us, we saw the key. And we can't get into that room because the door's blocked. So the only way of getting that key is to go fishing for it. And we now have the string and the hook to do that, but to actually get to that room with the hole in it, we need a fuse to open that do that shutter door. Seems to be the situation that we have going on right now. So again, whatever's in there has got to be pretty good, you'd think. We do have the heart-shaped key, which I guess means we can now move on to another area, because we can go to the park and unlock the heart-shaped lock. Is there anything else that would help us in this place? This is where we got the the arrows. Target. I mean, I guess we could practice. We could target practice here. We haven't actually used these yet. We only have 25. All right, how do they work? Okay, like that. I feel like I'm not really meant to aim it at these targets, though. Yeah. Doesn't seem like anything's happening there. No, they're, they're not hitting. Pretty sure. Now I assume that this will... I, like the gun. The gun kind of auto-aims. I'm going to assume the bow and arrow does the same. Yeah. Dog stop. Yeah, only one arrow. So I don't think we have... I don't think we can go into these other houses. I'm not... I don't want to check the door to every house. We could check the door to every house. I don't really want to.
There we are. Heart-shaped key to fit a heart-shaped lock? It sure is. As if things weren't morbid enough already. What, are we in a graveyard? Yeah, we sure are. Hmm, that's an open coffin. I wonder why there was specific voice acting for that one. Will I need to remember something there? Charlie, yeah, Charlie Marcus. Nelson. like the the nano machine infection can make some people rise from the dead not everyone it's just, it's just certain ones A lot of tombstones that have flowery writing on them like that. I usually don't. Precious memories of Alexander Harrison. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Confessional. Gotta confess my sins. There's no one inside. Still no one. Nope. Empty. That, that's empty. Well, how am I gonna confess my sins and know how many times I have to say the Hail Mary? The glory oh, it's one of these things. The glory of God, the herald memory of those members and associates of the church who give themselves to free our path and service of our Lord and Savior, C.M. Helson, J.F. Marcus, A. Harrison, Casey Schelling. Those members and associates of this church who gave themselves to free our path in the service of our Lord and Savior. There's a list of names. May their flame light our way is written underneath. Oh, I can use my lighter, probably. Um, okay. Well, Hel CM Helson was one of the names. Marcus was. Um, Kaufman was. What was... Did we see a fourth one? Sure. Well, we'll have to go outside and check around.
A shotgun has been left on the altar. Take the steel point shotgun? Yes. Amen. We obtained the shotgun. Something else? No, there's nothing left. Let's go outside and take a look at some graves to, to light our way. to the to the fence I don't think we really looked around this side of it you know, there's another one over there Stillman. An ever loving memory of Tara Silbury, gone from our home, but not from our hearts. Silbury. That's six names so far. Precious memories of Alexander Harrison. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Seven names. Precious memories of the Lord in... Do these have to be in an order? They're not giving, like, dates of death or anything. That's everything. We already saw this one. It's That's Hammond. Right. Yeah. Yes. And just to make sure, and we saw that one. You did see this one up here? Yeah, we we saw this one up here. This one is Silberry. So I'm, I'm getting seven names, and there were eight choices. I'm not seeing dates or anything on the tombstones. Or at least she hasn't been saying any, anything about dates. To the 
hallowed memory who gave themselves to free our path. There's a list of Alright, so names I got were, let's see, we got Stillman, we got uh, Silberry, we got Hammond, there was Kaufman, there was Helson, there was Marcus, there was, uh, yeah, Harrison. See, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Did all okay? Did all of them There's have a light? Because maybe I think maybe some of them didn't. Like there's some that had like a torch next to it, like a lantern. And some did not. So that one over there definitely does. Treasured memories of That's Stillman. Stillman. I'll make a note that uh, that one has the lantern. Light over there. Silberry. Over there. So the one here does not have one. The one over here does. In ever loving memory, Kaufman. Mike Kaufman. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Lanterned. A lantern. Precious memories of Alexander Harrison. That one's Harrison. Is my shepherd. I shall not want. He shall not want except his lantern. He definitely wants that. All right. So I think that's all the all the lit lanterns. Looks like we have five. Stillman. We had Silberry. We had Kaufman. We had Marcus. And Harrison. Okay. It's not well known that but most Catholic church are churches are equipped with a secret passage that you get by lighting the correct candles. Sick. He really cares, you know. Tough guy that's soft as pudding. That's what you said, wasn't it? The boss in better days. All those ginkgo suits, sweet talk, and our regulars. 
state paycheck and a roof over your head. It's hard to say no when you're out of options. Fucking boiling pot of bad eggs. I can only imagine what it's like to have been through all of it. You need to know that you're not alone. We're not alone. That pot's boiling over, and soon they're gonna get burned. Whatever it takes, remember? Hell yeah, state paychecks. Beneath the church. Oh, there's a the 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 flesh made a hole in the church. is securely chained and woven with intestines. Gross. There are three locks, each with a dumb symbol painted on the side. I like her little commentary about that. Oh, the symbols are so dumb. Got a little friend chasing us. That's probably fine. Let's see. Right, we can just step on him. Can we, like, go down there? Doesn't seem like it. Uh-oh. Are we following a trail of blood? Well, no, the blood was actually just at the entrance. It's still beating. I'm gonna take it with- I'm gonna put this in my pocket. Woo! It's a party in there now. Look, I might need it later. Let me take a look at it. I don't remember picking this up. No? We just did. We just picked it up. Can I... There we go. Stuart Mason. Public services, deceased, multi-organ failure. Everything failed. All the organs, except the one. The heart. Alright, I guess uh, that's the reason we came in here. Oh, hello. We got dudes. Maybe our days of being outside are over, because we're definitely inside now. Yeah, we can keep going around, but, uh, yeah. We want to explore all the things. Still going.
pick it up. Got some revolver ammo. This bow is quite a bit stronger, isn't it? Not sure why this bow is so strong. I don't actually- and I also don't know if we could get any more ammo for the bow. Because we've been getting gun ammo. But we only found the one, uh, arrow ammo. But ammo was meant to be used, so let's use it. beating. No oh, we got two pulsating hearts. Wow, uh, do we really need two? Oh, this one's only beating. This one's pulsating. don't remember picking this up. We're just, we're collecting hearts, apparently. This is insane! The machine has four arms reaching forward, as if waiting for me to place something in their palms. Well, do you want me to give you a heart? I don't know what compelled me to do that. Stop beating. Alright, if I find any more of those, I guess you'll know. Nothing else in here. I guess we just got to find two more hearts. Do I want to go that way, or do I want to see the other fork? Okay, good. Throbbing hearts. Got beating, pulsating, throbbing. Has no pulse. It's the dead heart. All right, got two more. Let's go back. I bet when Micah got up this morning, she did not expect that her pants would be jam-packed full of organ meat today. No one expects that. So, let's see. I missed the passage into the... Did I get teleported? been here. Oh. 
now. And we're in caution. sure we were not that far away from the room with the hands i don't I'm not sure if like it did some some uh, wonkery with the map at some point oh there's this yeah we got it we got two of the locks probably there are three locks no we did not get two of the locks well maybe we get the keys after we put the hearts in the hands Here was first heart. Oh wait, no, no, this is it. This is the actually the room. This is the room with with hands. No, not that. Oh, my map's not working. I can hear a distant thumping noise. How distant are we talking about? Because I I don't hear a thumping noise. Yeah, it teleported me right there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. If I'm supposed to follow a distant thumping noise, I would like there to be an actual distant thumping noise. Like I'm- oh, hello. I'm gonna- I'm guessing I should probably go back to the door with the locks. Because I don't know, I'm empty out of those, but I've been picking up plenty of gun ammo. There's also a shotgun. I don't have any shotgun ammo. Oh, just blew off his entire top piece. You can go and stomp them when they're on the ground, but they can also hit you back. And I have more ammo than I have health items. I hear a- I do hear, like, a little bit of a thumping noise. Just a slight one. Street. Perfect. Station should be far 
Great. All right, we got out of the whatever that was, the sewers, which uh, took out our map. So we're getting, we're going to High Street, and uh, we're continuing on. We auto saved, so we're good. All right, so continuing on with Hollow Body. Um, you know, I don't know if I. If I still could go back the, to the apartments if I find a fuse. I don't know if I've missed that opportunity. Like, maybe we find a fuse, but if we do, are we really going all the way back? I mean, for the, I, maybe. Maybe the game does expect you... Maybe the game... Maybe that is what you're supposed to do. Like, maybe it's a bonus thing. Where, like, when I get near the end of the game, I'm gonna find that fuse. And then you realize, okay, alright, I guess I could run back through the whole game to get... And of, obviously we're gonna do that, if we find the fuse. Because the, the biggest mystery to me right now is what is in that room. If we find the fuse, we're, all, we're gonna go all the way back. Obviously we are. Will we find the fuse before we find Sasha? I'm more invested in getting into this room than finding Sasha, to be frank. Uh, may maybe we'll get into the room next time as we continue on with Hollow Body.